Hey guys, Adam Savage here at my cave with a show and tell I'm very, very excited about because I'm showing and telling one object from a uh, wellspring of awesome things. One of the most common questions I get, I was actually just in Michigan City, Indiana this weekend, and the first question I got was, what do you build when you don't know what to build? And I've covered that a lot in this in this space. For me, it's very rare that I don't have something I want to build, but it happens. And I usually end up making shop infrastructure. I'll rebuild a drawer or I'll make a little table or I'll make a set of shelves. That always gets my, well, see, when I add to organization, it gives me places to put things. And then when I put things in places, my brain starts going and then I wanna make something. Um, but this is a really, really common question, especially like you come in on a Monday into your makerspace or maybe you only work in it on the weekends and you're like, all right, let's get going. And everything's either like too big or too small. So what do you make? Well, the question of what to make has been answered uh, or at least is suggested to be answered by the product that I want to show you, which is Build Dice by Yetch. Uh, you might know, friend of Tested, Simone Yetch, uh, often referred to as the queen of shitty robots. Uh, but if I could wave a magic wand, I would prefer that she be considered an important uh, designer, inventor, and engineer, uh, because she is amazing at all three of those things. And these build dice, which she built uh, in conjunction with Laura Kampf, another hero and friend of mine, uh, they're just, they're so lovely. Simone's site of her designs and products is called Yetch, Y-E-T-C-H which is funny because that's how you pronounce her last name, which is spelled G-I-E-R-T-Z. Go, go Sweden. You guys have somehow figured something out. I'm, I'm glad for you. Meanwhile, we have Yetch. <laughs> uh, and so she has other products up there in Yetch. I covered her everyday calendar a couple of years ago. It's one of my favorite things. You can get one there. Uh, and the execution of these products is lovely. Just a simple cardboard sleeve. I am sure it's recyclable because Simone and Laura. The box contains three engraved dice. One with objects, one with materials, and one with properties. Roll them all to get a very specific brief for your next build. This is how you decide what to make. You pull out your dice. First of all, these are machined out of aluminum and engraved and they feel fantastic. Uh, they want, your grubby little hands want to wipe their finger oil all over these things. I gotta tell you, they, yeah. These were made by makers. They have a tactility and, a, and an attractiveness to them that is both physical and visual. So you take these dice, roll them around. Uh, let's see, one is objects. All right. So here we say, trash, art, not useful. <laughs> That's great. So you're gonna make art out of trash that is not useful. Oh, right, and then there's a stand so that you can put your, your dice and have it there so you know, so you can remember what your build was. Art, trash, not useful. These are all really important things to know. Is it uh, on the other, uh, some of the other choices are it's a one day build, it makes music, it's extra big or extra small, not useful. We already did not useful. Uh, made of cardboard, cement or clay, trash, fabric, I'm not reading them all. You're gonna have to get these to read them all. Vehicle, gift, furniture, art, housewares. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful galvanizer for the brain of a maker just to give them some place to start. Like, wait, trash again. Here we go, metal, metal, wait, yeah, Me metal, not useful. That seems to keep showing up, furniture. <laughs> not useful metal furniture. Yeah, I'm totally down with building something like that. Um, these are funny, but there's also, I mean, and this exists in everything that Simone and Laura design and build. There is a real sense of love and levity and humor and also acceptance, right? Like they, they understand that we all sometimes have have blockages, that there are vicissitudes of life that interrupt our creative process. And these are meant 
to jumpstart it, to bring you back to a place where you're like, okay, well, wait a minute. If I did want to build a piece of furniture out of metal that was not useful, what would that look like? And just that thought process starts some part of your brain that doesn't have to worry about paying rent or figuring out what's for dinner or tying your shoes, frankly, 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 frankly. Um, Simone and, your, and Simone and Laura, as I've said, are both uh, friends and heroes of mine. They're amazing designers. There's a link to Simone's site in the description, also a link to her amazing TED Talk, which I got to see from the audience sitting next to her mom. Uh, Laura and, sorry, <laughs> Laura and Simone, these are so beautiful. And Simone, thank you so much for sending this to me. I totally will use them. And when I do, I will tell you what the role was. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's do that. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick my measuring forearm uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body because I use mine every single day.